I am so refreshed. Graveyard Keeper is a Stardew-like. You know, you know exactly what that means. That's there's no explaining further than that. It's got a graveyard. It's got sorry. It's got a uh, kind of a darker theme to it. Not just visually in the pixel art, which is fantastic, by the way. It is really, really quite fantastic. Uh, but also just in the uh, you know the whole tone of the game. It is called Graveyard Keeper. I don't know what else you would expect. Now I'll tell you up front. Uh, I'm not really like I'm not really pumped over this game. Uh, and the music, the somber music is perfect for this right up, by the way. Uh, it's just, it's just not grabbing me. I have put, I think three hours and some change, maybe four hours into the game so far. And I'm still just like, man, this is a chore. Everything in this game is a damn chore. There are a couple of uh, shortcuts that the game has given me since I've started. For example, I have to walk to the town anymore. Uh, I can teleport one way and then once the cooldown comes up, I can teleport back if I want, or I can just walk back cutting that journey in half. It's only about 90 seconds, I think, to make that trip from one end to the other. Maybe less, but still, it's uh, it's a chore to go back and forth. Now, speaking of, I'm holding a body here. This is a body that I've gone ahead and extracted some meat from that I could use later on to cook. I'm gonna try to show you all this stuff today. Um, but the first thing I'm gonna do is do the name of the game, Graveyard Keep. We gotta keep this graveyard up, right? Upper right corner, you can see the quality is at negative 15. That means that's the quality of the graveyard. It's basically, you know, it's, 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 it's the quality. I don't know how else to explain that, actually. Go ahead and deposit the corpse here. You can see I have plus one to my quality. Now I have quality of negative 14. It's bad because the previous caretaker let it go to crap. Uh, and that's okay because I'm here now to fix that. So let's see, in the trunk here, I have a couple of gravestones that I made. They're of my own design. Uh, <laughs> and I'm placing it here. That's going to increase that grave's value by some more. Uh, over here at this grave, you can see that uh, it needs some repairs. Click on this, and I can repair it with uh, a repair set if I wanted to. Uh, the stone grave fence is also messed up. I guess I could take that and make an attempt to clean that up. Uh, what I don't understand, and let me get the mouse here free, is basically what this meter, meter does. And here, this is actually one of the problems I have with the game. It doesn't really show you too much. Uh, like, it doesn't really show you some of the details. You kind of have to figure things out as you go along. Um, which, I don't necessarily mind on things that are supposed to be easy. You know, like, go to sleep to save or something like that, right? Uh, or like, what button to push to craft when you're actually using the crafting menu. Like, that kind of stuff, sure, like, eh, whatever. But, I really would like to have it for things like this. <sighs> I don't know what six skulls with a red line means. And this, this right here, like, what does that even mean? <laughs> Here's what I think it means. I believe it means I could assume the body and then I could take it and get uh, some certain amount of value out of it. And I mean that, like I, lit I literally mean that. I could get value out of the bodies. And I'll show you right now because I have a body over here waiting. Oh, I guess I don't. Oh, that's right. That was the one that I left. Dang, I thought I had an extra body. But I had a bonus body. Anyways, the body comes down the chute. The chute was not here. I actually read to repair both the top and the bottom with pieces that I've scrounged up from the market in town and stuff some stuff that I had made and farmed myself. Uh, now I have, so I fixed that. I fixed this entire room was actually block it blocked off, and so I fixed that. Now I actually have the ability to build things here if I wanted to, like a pallet, for example. I want to put a pallet down to stack bodies or something. I actually don't know what I need them for. I think those are getting a little bit ahead of me. Right here, autopsy is where I actually go through and, uh, and extract body parts. You would do the work. The game's function, everything revolves around the work that you do. And what I mean by that is everything has a value. Everything you do has a negative value, is what I should say. Let's go over to this bush, or whatever this is. I'm gonna dig this up. So, there you go, got, got a little bit of experience. Those red, green, and blue orbs are experience. Uh, green, I think, is like chopping trees and stuff. Red is, oh, hell, I don't remember. Uh, but blue is uh, work with bodies. <laughs> that part I remember, at least. Uh, let's go ahead and a couple more. Now, look at upper left corner also. See, every time I, I take a, a swing at this, I lose a little bit of that blue bar. That blue bar is the indicator for my total energy. So unlike Stardew Valley, I could work through the entire night if I wanted to. As a matter of fact, I could work nights if I wanted to. That's pretty awesome. I can make my own schedule. I don't have to worry about the game being like, nope, guess what? You're tired, son. Go to, go to bed. <laughs> right here in the middle of the street. I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff, which is kind of nice. The entire game is based around energy. As far as I know, and I've stayed up for, I believe, two days straight. 
uh that's about as far as, as long as i can stay up as far as i know <laughs> but at some point you're gonna be like wow okay i don't have enough energy to really do anything and i'm kind of tired of, of, of uh of food uh of making and wasting food i'm making two of these things here and so you decide i'm gonna go to sleep let's go over here actually uh, oh i'm out of sticks so i can't cook that meat that i want to cook actually it's not even prepared let's go over here and prepare the food but first we prepare the food and then prepare the food. I can't cook it yet, so I'm gonna have to go and get some sticks. Green is cooking. There we go. Or something. It's cook cooking and something else. So I have to go chop down a tree and get some sticks. Hope for sticks. Hope for enough sticks. Two sticks. Is that enough? I need like ten. I have ten. Oh, thank God. Okay, cool. <laughs> I hit like one tree. Just took down like one tree, and I'm like, oh God, I'm so done with this now. No, but, but I mean, that attitude is there, and it's from basically the past few hours of being like, where's the fun? Where's the fun? All right, so I can go ahead and actually start this. It'll probably consume the sticks as well. And we'll just stay in here. It does not, actually. Huh. Oh, I think I already had fire left over. Okay, I had already put sticks in it prior, and so some of the fire is left over. It's, it's, it actually functions not so much like a fire pit. It functions more like... A, uh, a gas driven fire pit. So, it doesn't pretend it's propane driven. <laughs> and that's the way it works. Uh, let's see, that's gonna go, no, whether or not you stand next to it, it's still gonna cook the meat. You don't necessarily have to babysit this damn thing. Doot, doot. But I'm gonna babysit because I wanna take this meat out and go. But see, notice it's almost morning. Basically, just working the whole night. Go in here. This is the uh, basement. You go and create some more storage if you'd like to. This is actually something I can tear apart, get something out of it. Maybe some XP's? Nope, okay. Oh yeah, a little bit. One, two. This thing, clear out. I needed to get uh, ten wedges, two planks, and four of those things. <laughs> Brackets, it look like. So yeah, once I get these items, then uh, it costs me 30 energy. Uh, then I can, uh, I guess, you know, tear down this thing and go speak to that guy over there. And I'm not going to tell you what that is because it's part of the story. So we're not going to do that today. This is the blueprint thing. This is basically what you want to build down here. I want to build a trunk down here. You can. I already have a trunk down here with nothing in it, so I'm not going to bother building another one. I can fix this too, actually. Clean up my mess. Household keeper. So th there is a lot of potential here to build and, 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 and kind of configure your own little home. Like, um, for example, this furnace, this uh, uh, wood cutter, this log stump thing, uh, this area here, this area here. I put all these here. This is all, I mean, this is my configuration. I go in here and I basically said, I said, okay, I know like, I'm going to put this right, you know, uh, like there. I can't fit it anywhere. This is actually how they keep you from doing too many fun things at once, which I really, really am not a fan of. <laughs> they give you this tiny little area to work with and they're like, all right, well, uh, if you want to do more, you're going to have to go all the way down here. Oh, where is it at? Increase yard space. You have to get these resources together to increase yard space. It's just basically an artificial way of gating you and preventing you from being able to expand as quickly as you like. You can't just go out and farm a ton of resources and then just expand willy nilly. You gotta actually uh, wait until you unlock certain tech. You're probably wondering to yourself, well, how do you how do you do that? How do you <laughs> how, how do you how do you unlock this tech? Well, I'll show you right here. Oh, come on, there you go. This is your tech tree, and you have one. Uh, let's see, start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, this one doesn't count. No, that's just a book. Six. And I would also go ahead and say, maybe this one doesn't count because book writing and I don't have it unlocked yet, so I don't really know how tedious that might be. Uh, so, let's just say five. Hmm? Let's say five. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I, I lost count. <laughs> that should tell you something. <laughs> There's just, it's just too much, man. Like, I mean, I've, I've done a bunch of this crap, and I've, I've, I've unlocked a ton of things. Like, so, like, for example, advanced forging, right? So now I could go through, if I unlock this, um, I could go through and build uh, those brackets uh, that I need for probably something else. I could build weapons and armor as I get moving up. Uh, inboard blacksmith, you like to work with red hot iron, hammering relaxes you, and when the work is done, you always manage to find time to make extra nails. Okay, so that basically means I'm gonna get some extra nails every time I do something. Cool. That's awesome. Uh, tools. You can make your own tools. No, you cannot make your own tools right off the bat. You have to actually go through and, uh, uh, and unlock them and then, you know, make them. So, I don't actually have any of this stuff unlocked, which is fine because I have primitive forging, which I needed in order to get those nails and everything done. Uh, let's see. Da -da do over here. This is all basically your, yeah, farming in nature. Decay. Brewing. Insects. Grape farming. Wine making. 
complex fertilizers blending. So, on one hand, this is a lot, man. Like, and everything you do, you know, I'm, you know, I'm just gonna walk to the city. Um, everything you do has a cost to it, or has a journey behind it, or has some kind of else, some other thing it's relying on. Uh, and <laughs> it feels like a lot. On the other hand, on the other hand, that's a lot of stuff you could do. There's so many different things you could do. I could, I could specialize in whatever the hell I wanted and put tons of points into whatever tree I wanted. That is, you could look at this two ways, right? That's completely up to you guys. For me, it does feel like there's a whole lot, there's a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, and for me, it's like, you know what? It, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little too much beyond Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley's got a lot of walking and a lot of traveling and all that stuff. And later you unlock like fast travel, right? Um, but in this game, it's, it's still, it's, 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 it's an extra layer above that. You've already seen it. You've already seen it in the tech trees alone. <laughs> in the tech trees alone. Jesus. All right. Let's see. Um, as an example, you take some kind of consumable, some kind of combustive, right? And you put it inside of the... Uh, inside inside of a furnace or something or, or, or you want to cook something in Sardu Valley You don't need to get 15 different things or make a bunch of steps to cook something You just put the two things together and then you cook them. That's it. Anyways, so uh, this is the store guy <laughs> This is the shop the tavern uh, Hordrick he is actually yeah Hordrick. Uh, he will buy your burial certificates Burial certificates you get every time you bury a body. It's basically a steady way to make some kind of income. I can't really afford to buy anything else from this guy, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. Then we're gonna leave. Now he's got some story elements there. Um, the people in here, you could talk to some, but they're not really gonna tell you anything, or they're not gonna tell you anything at all. This guy is like, bad luck, not today. I talk to these people basically every day, right? They don't really change anything. And these folks, the ones who are slightly less saturated, <laughs> we'll just call them that. Um, I mean, you would think, Wow, all these people all over the place. Holy crap. In every RPG, what do you do? What's the number one rule? The number one, since the very beginning, the number one rule of every RPG, what you what do you do? You talk to everybody. None of these people will talk to you. This town is dead. The town folks don't, the townsfolk don't talk. And because I'm sorry, yes, it, it is very much a Stardew Valley-esque game, I'm gonna compare it to that. In Stardew Valley, Literally every person you meet you could talk to and they have a story or they have something going on Whether it's a short story or a long story or you could romance them or they're related to somebody or whatever They just have oh, what's this? Fresh eggs. Oh snap. Did I steal it? Hold on. <gasps> oh Why did straight? Okay Well uh, trade with who? Oh, I could trade with the eggs thing <laughs> We trade with the eggs basket. Uh, you know, I'm actually okay. Thanks, uh, basket. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. This is old man over here. Maybe we get some story. But in this game, only the, only these like the, it basically has these filler folks that don't necessarily do anything. Maybe later on they'll like come to life and they'll like start talking to you or something. But but still, it makes the town feel uh, just not not as lively, really. All right, this guy must be crazy. You think I'm crazy? No, I don't think I don't think that. I'm just trying to stay positive, and I know what truly matters. What? Do you think you think he can understand? No, dig, he won't. Because he can't see. Okay, then I'll tell him a sweet lie. The only thing that matter are peace and herbs and nice sweet things. Sweet like honey. Like honey. Uh, bring me some honey and I'll teach you how to make a cake. Cake is the best. Alright, so we got a mission out of that. Sweet. I just got done reading Declan the story and I do all the voices, so I like to have fun with it. Oh, look at this, this bridge is not fixed. Is there a button I can click to, to fix it? No? Okay, cool. Curious how many resources that's gonna take. Jesus Christ, me mining for the rest of my life. Ah, oh, let's see. So I've actually not ever been out this way, so we're kind of just exploring a little bit. Ooh, what is this here? It's like a well, it's a thing. Can I interact with it? Uh, uh, no, it's this primitive technology thing, whatever. Yeah, some trees are a level lock on it. I need, it says need a technology, so I guess I need like a better axe or something. I don't know. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I don't want to waste too much time out here because I'm not trying to artificially create some kind of, oh, there's so much lull, there's a lull in all the action. No, no, I'm, I'm actually just wandering right now. So let's get back home. Now that thing I just used, you don't get right away. So don't be like, oh man, this is easy going back for a town. No, 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 you have to get to, you have to actually earn the teleport stone. 
It costs two silver! And you can buy it from, uh, from Hordrick. Back at the thing. Oh, you know what? I'm actually out of energy, so... Uh, well, I go pick up a couple things. Maybe chop a half a tree or something. But then I have to go to sleep. Go and chop a half a tree. I could do a whole tree. What's up? I gotta do the stump, though. Gotta do the stump. Feels like it don't starve. Can't just leave stumps all over the place. Them bitches are flammable. You put it in your thing there. Now here's the thing, you can only carry one, right? So you gotta do this. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we will find a way, man. It's just what we do. All right, let's go ahead <laughs> go to sleep and watch the energy bar go ahead and fill up. All right. So today, what I want to do is... Uh, see, we've already, we already cooked some stuff. I have some food. I think I have like four pieces of food, which is about 60 energy, I think. So we could probably get quite a few th things done during the day here. Oh, and it's raining. Oh, it's still not daytime yet. Okay, you know what we could do? We could power nap this bitch. Let's do this. Uh, let's see. Uh, iron ore is a piece of stone. Okay, I don't want to make that. Let's go over here. Uh, I think it's this one here. Wooden plank, repair kit. Uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, crap. I'm gonna make the planks. That's easy. I can make the planks. Alright, wooden planks. Let's do it. Makes the wooden planks. That's one. How do you make another one? You gotta go back to the menu. You gotta click on it, then hit Y. That's two. How do you make another one? You gotta go back to the menu, you gotta click on it, and you got oops, we're the wrong button. You gotta click on it, and you press Y. <laughs> press Y. <laughs> it's a it's a, it's a little repetitive here. Uh oh wait, hold on. Oh Jesus Christ, can I really do that? Hey, you know I take back everything I just said. Didn't know. The game doesn't tell you, but that that's something I should have figured out. There are arrows right next to it. I thought that was arrows to move to the next page, but apparently it's not. Cool. Alright, good. Good. Oh, thank God. Wow, okay. That actually alleviates some of my... Well, then here I go. Make it one thing again. See? See? You get used to doing it one way. Uh, let's see. I want to actually go ahead and make a, uh, as many of these as I can, as many as energy will allow. It's almost morning here, so what we'll do is we are going to make all the rest of these with the rest of our energy. Then we're going to go to sleep, and we'll do the rest of the work that we have to do tonight. This is purely... Oh, well, well actually, let's do this then. Eat that. Here we go. That should be able to finish it up. And nope, okay. There we go. Alright, nope. Oh, I can't carry? Oh, that's right, you go ahead carry one. Uh, yeah, they stack They stack in stacks of one. <laughs> Let's see, I haven't been able to use this for anything. Let's get rid of it. Fucking grapes. No one likes grapes. Actually, I love grapes. Okay, so we're gonna power nap. Power nap, I mean, potentially sleep the entire night. I'm actually kind of convinced that the sundial moves a little bit slower or faster depending on what time you go to sleep. Like sometimes I feel like if I go to bed early enough, I'll get more sleep in a shorter period of time. But I'm honestly I'm probably just tripping. No new bodies up the right corner you can see it tells you and walk by the morgue and then it disappears when you walk away. All right, so we got work to do over here. It's almost uh, nighttime, which is the best time to work over here in the uh, in the old graveyard. Let's see, let's go ahead and put down a gravestone. I'm trying to get this thing to negative, or plus five, I think is what I need to get to, to make uh, some dude happy or something. <laughs> let's see, let's go ahead and put one of these. This will help increase the... No, oh, it does not. Oh yeah, it does. Oh, but it's still crap though. All right, so let's do this then. Um. Let me see if I can repair this business, because this is going to be worth, hopefully, quite a bit. He might only have, like, one piece of meat left, so I can't necessarily... Oh, okay, I can't fix the grave, the, uh, the fence. That's fine. Wood marker, fix that. But yeah, I have, like, no meat, so really, we're just going to work as best we can with the amount of time that we have. Mm-hmm. This is going to help so much. Plus two, okay. Well, that was for the, uh... Button. There it goes, there it goes, okay, plus... Now I'm at zero. My unity with that one. Uh, the marker is, uh, giving me like a half point four. So yeah, by the way, yeah, everything decays and everything, so you're gonna have to come back and clean this up eventually again, in the future. Gotta keep it clean, man! Alright, we're doing quite well, actually. See, I can't fix that. I can just get these guys spruced up a little bit with uh, a couple of these. 
We'll do that one there. We'll do this one here. This is what this is also, by the way, this is actually kind of a nice feature or mechanic here. You could put all your work down and then, you know, sit there and just eat some beef jerky and then go to town. And now you're basically just repeating your work, right? Or just uh, get a little repetition going. Drop a bunch of gravestones, drop a bunch of things, have all the work ready to go. Man, oh, look at that. We're actually almost at, we're actually in positives now. Okay. So this way I make two more of these. I need to get to five, I believe, is the mission. Let's see, flower bed, I can't make this stuff. This damn one, okay, it's, I'm gonna need to make a stone, what? Oh, what's this one about? Oh, cool. This will help. Ooh, man, gravestone, cannot fix that. Okay, we can't take it out, unfortunately. If we destroy it, I don't think believe we could destroy anything with a body in it. And if we exhume a body without, without a, 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 a like a deed or some kind of document that states that you can exhume it. Um, you know what? Let's do this to save a little bit of time. Then I believe you get in some kind of trouble. And I'm actually not entirely sure exactly what that what that is, what that entails. So we're getting we're getting through the you know the we're getting through the days. We got stuff. We got, we're doing stuff. We're progressing here. And here's the thing with me. Like I keep thinking, okay, maybe if I complete this thing, then it'll start to get fun. And I've done that so many times. And I feel like now it's like, oh, okay, listen, I can't, I can't, I just can't. We're, I'm done. <laughs> need, need so desperately to freaking, I don't know, to just get some kind of fun in there. And, you know, maybe it's just the, the style of the game. Maybe, maybe someone else, maybe one of you guys is watching this and you're like, man, this looks like the best. <laughs> And I'm not going to fault you for it. I think that's great because maybe it's your style. Maybe it's something that uh, that speaks to you in terms of like theme or whatever. And that's awesome. Do it. But it's just for some reason not resonating with me. I have so many points to spend on stuff in the upper left corner. Look at that. Oh, I'm just so experienced. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to make, uh, I think I need wooden uh, with nails. Let me see. Can I actually make some of that right now? Gravestone. Great some repair kit needs those brackets. Oh man, so here here's where where it gets kind of crappy. Um let's see. I can make nails of simple iron parts. There's certain things I can't build because I can't I don't have room to build the machines I need to make them. <laughs> uh let's see. I can, however, make some oh I have to make some trunk areas because of trees in here. Let's go and get that good. And then we're gonna make one raw ingot. So that's gonna take a minute to do, so we'll come back to that. And then what I'll do is I'll use that to make some nails, I believe, right? Because I want to make some wooden cross. I actually make some repair kits. Uh, I'm gonna make another one of these. Let's see. I feel like I got at least a little bit of a rhythm going though. Good. Oh yeah, I can't. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I can't. Hold on. What are you doing? Pick it up. Weirdo. Let's see. Wooden grave fence, wooden cross, and a wooden marker. While wow, the wooden cross adds two to the grave. Hmm. The repair kit's actually what I'm going for. Let's see where's this guy at. Ooh, that's gonna take a minute. God, can I sit here and like? Nope. Okay. This is where I should go through, and you could uh, uh, raise the durability of your weapons, whatever you have, your tools. You better click on it, and then you click on the way you get a whetstone in there. Whetstone has a durability. It consumes some of the whetstone in order to repair and resharpen your tools. Kind of a nice, kind of an actually pretty good process. I actually kind of like it. Uh, let's see. So yeah, I want to make it clear. I don't not like the game. I think the game is fine. It's tedious. There's a lot of stuff to do. But again, that could be a good thing. Like sometimes I look at this and it's just like, oh my god, it's so much crap. And other times I'm just like, oh man, that's a lot of that's. I could I could specialize in all kinds of crap. Like it's like it's it's different. It's yeah, it's just something that depends on how you look at it. Um. But for me, it swings both ways. It's like, I'll look at something and see a blueprint anvil. Okay, cool. Maybe I'll put that down somewhere. Uh, and weapons. I'm not necessarily feeling like I'm going to do any weaponing. <laughs> weaponing's a word. Uh, let's see. 20 of these. Sure, why not? I can afford it. Glass. Craft of that. Furnace, furnace two, and furnace three. Well, I don't want to necessarily spend all my goods in one. Let's see. I can't afford any of that stuff. See, I got to do more body stuff. But I can't get- the thing is, the bodies only come in when they come in. You gotta wait for the stupid donkey to haul them over here. When the donkey gets here, then I could do it. What was it gonna do? Let's see. Let's go see if this thing's done. No, I spent a lot of time in the menus. I'm just, it's not gonna necessarily be done. 
Uh, let's see what I just unlock here. Tools, forge, anvil, that's what it was. All right, let's go over here. Let's move this guy out of the way. No, out of the way. No, okay. That's becoming annoying. Let's see. Iron ore stockpile, anvil. I need four of those bars. All right, well, <laughs> this in this episode, that's not happening. Uh, I wonder if we can speed up the process by going to sleep. Hmm, let's see here. Should pop up in the upper lower right corner or something like that. That'd be nice. And just be like, ding, it's done. And you can wake up. There it is. Ready to go. I'm actually going to throw another one in there. Oh, I can't because I can't afford it because I don't have 30, 30 uh, fire. The thing I put in there, those sticks, unfortunately, only gave me the um, 20 fire. Now, you're probably wondering, why not just make some firewood? Because I don't have the room to put down the the thing I need to make the stupid fire the 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 what's it called the um is it the wooden apple no that's one that's what I have over there what is it what does I need a sawhorse chopping spot that's what I need I don't have enough room for the chopping spot I have to wait till I can expand this thing out and then I can put the chopping spot done I really don't like that I really don't like it if you want to put some kind of artificial gate on something make the goddamn resources to make it expensive that's what you do don't do this. <laughs> Don't do this. Uh, let's see. Nails and simple iron parts. Nails. Let's go make some nails. I only have one, so we gotta we gotta commit. And with these, we can go make some tool repair kits. And uh wooden cross. Yeah, wooden cross would be a little better, actually. I should make two of these. I think the two of those graves over there are not doing too well, and then I could get the repair kits. Uh let's see. It's unfortunate that you can't take the oh you can't move this this kit or this setup over by the graveyard because you do a lot of work over there and i feel like eh, it kind of doesn't really make sense to not have it let's see when great fence go make that to not have it over there like why not just set up shop behind the the uh the church that's over there i'm just making stuff now just to you know take over there and hopefully throw a bunch of stuff down and just make things happy and then by the time we get done Oh crap, I'm out of energy. I can't finish this thing. Which means I can't set anything else down. Crap. Going back to sleep. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps once I have a steady full of, like, food supply from my, say, my farm that we walked through earlier, that it's not uh, at all started, uh, perhaps once I get that going, then I'll be able to uh, have a steady flow of uh, energy. But unfortunately, that's just another thing that I have to manage. I mean, look at all this work I'm doing right now. I mean, some of it's obviously prepped just to get the damn graveyard up to snuff, but still, there's always been stuff to do. Look, there's this thing over here that you could use to build a garden. Over here to the right, there's another blueprint thing over there. How many blueprint thing things have you seen? They all do something different. They all have a different purpose. Is there a good body in there? No body. Ah, uh, whatever. I guess you guys aren't going to see me chop up a body today, which is like the whole point of this stupid game. There should be one coming, honestly. Stupid donkey. Uh, let's see, this guy, let's see this guy, this guy, these guys can use a fence. Let's give him a fence. There we go. Fortunately, I can't replace the, um, cannot replace the gravestone with a marker. I don't have another one. Damn, I made one too many of one. One marker, can I, okay, remove, oh, I can remove that. Okay, cool. Fix gravestone. Okay, well, let's remove it. And we'll put down proper cross. Just trying to get to that five. Unfortunately, it's not going to mean anything because the bishop's not here to see how good of a job I did. <laughs> it's literally what it is. Uh, he's the one that's going to help me, uh, allow me to progress once I hit five, right? Unfortunately, he's not here to do that. And I'm, I'm like one away from doing it. One... One damn fence away. I'm just taking these damn markers down. <laughs> Replacing it with crosses. Put that one down. Okay, so now I'm up to three. Yeah, alright, so two more grave things and I'm good. I'm golden. What do I have? So I have all these. I didn't repair any of this stuff. Hold on, there's something over here that looks like it needs repair. This one right here. Here, this guy. 
Oh man, can I repair something it wouldn't cross? No, gosh, Jesus. Oh man, I am literally one away. <laughs> How funny. I don't have another marker, otherwise I would uh put another one down. What's this one going at one though? What's up with this? Point cross, gray fence. Must be something to do with this center column thing. Uh, should it be at one? This one here, stone cross, needs a stud gravestone or the wood fixer things. This one's at zero, and I think it has something to do with its placement. I don't, I, I can't tell you any other way. Like, it's just, for some reason, it's just at, or maybe it's because of the, huh. I wonder if that's something to do with the wreath thing. What do you call those things again? Basically the leaves, right? I wonder if that, God, is it Florida Lee? No, that's not Florida Lee. Uh, anyways, I wonder if that has some kind of prestige to it, where I need to make that grave a bit better if I want to respect that particular person. Oh, 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 the, that person's body, their, their legacy, you know? Like maybe they weren't a peasant. They were somebody that was well respected in the community. And here I am throwing him in a dirt grave. <laughs> I'm a jerk. Uh, let's see. Oh man, if I had that chopping area, I could chop those extra markers into into firewood, and they could turn that firewood over here and build another one of things. She, you see, you see. Oh man. Okay, let's see. I need one more wooden fence. I need a plank. So let's see. I have the wood for the plank. Let's go and make. Uh, let's make all of those. Oh, I can't do that. Go to sleep. Oh god, I have to go to sleep. Uh, yes, of course. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I like the energy system. I really do. At the same time, God, is it annoying sometimes. Uh, do, 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 do. We're running over on this episode, by the way, because I'm gonna get into I'm getting to that five. Get to that damn five. Mainly because I want to see what's on the other side. What's on the other side? Is the grass really greener? Let's see. I think two of these will get me there for sure. I, I keep on doing one. You see, because the whole time I was doing one. A chump. There we go. I may have a body too. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna get a body whenever. <laughs> Listen, you put the body down. Oh, the bishop's here. Oh crap. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. He's gonna see. He's gonna see me doing work, and he's gonna be so impressed. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. All right, and bam, there it is. Okay, so oh, oh wait, one more, I guess. Oh no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That didn't get me to. That took me to nothing. Okay. Then let's put it on this one. Maybe this will help. See, this is something I have to figure out as I go along. Oh my god, I still didn't get it. Oh man. Alright, well I guess I'm not doing that today. I need a... Fuck. <laughs> I am one away. One. One away from completing that that mission or that, 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 that uh, quest. Can I make a repair thing? Stone repair kit. Nope, I need to have iron in order to do that. I can, however, make a couple gravestones. Maybe we could maybe we could trick the game. Fuck, I need to sleep. Fuck, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh man. And then I have to put them on. I have to actually put them on. So I have to sleep the whole day. Because I have to actually have the energy to put them together. Which means, actually we should stop because, because I need to get over there, get this thing done, put it in, install, and talk to the dude before he leaves. I have to remove an old one. Oh my god. Please don't have a body in here now. Nope. Okay, good. I don't feel so bad <laughs> if we don't cover it today. Hey, it's not my fault that Graveyard Keeper didn't give me bodies to work with. What do you want me to do? Alright, this one is super shit. Let's go ahead and take this one off. Quickly before that guy leaves. He's gonna look at his clock. He's gonna be like, I'm getting out of here. Don't you fucking, don't you dare leave. Don't you dare leave. Five, there it is. All right, I fixed the graveyard. There we go. I was definitely right about you. I hereby pronounce you official keeper of this holy place and prior of this church. 
Let's arrange your first sermon. It will be a great honor for you to... I missed that part. So just stand at the pulpit and speak the words. What words? The words. Actually, you can just say whatever you want. You know, this place isn't so bad. Put up some extra decorations, some nice candles, music, incense, get all oiled up for a nice... Mas <clears throat> Long story short, all this stuff will help you to get more faith. And faith is power. So there you go. You've unlocked your technology and got create prayer for faith. Perk preacher, Bishop told you now, told you that you now can arrange church service. So there you go. Start praying. Look at that. I could pray. All right. What is this thing? Got my my full. Oh, I am. Let's go and destroy this. I can't do anything else with it. There we go. Casual prayer. <laughs> I got some casual prayers. Awesome. Uh, I can build pews. Oh my god. Okay. So let's. Okay. Okay, you, do you see this? Look at the, uh, um, okay, let's go to remove. That way you can move around. You see all these areas that are kind of like construction lined off? Those are all areas that you can operate in, right? I could remove these pews if I wanted to. And I could build new pews, I guess, after I unlock the technology to do that in the tech tree. One of those tech trees I've now unlocked. Putting that number back up to what, six, seven different tech trees? Uh, like I said, every damn blueprint does something different it's another investment of your time of your resources it's another progression tree what is this oh for fuck's sake <laughs> not yet okay <laughs> well let's say a prayer the quality of my prayer is only 15 boy i gotta start working on that let's see it's like a sermon do a casual prayer there we go go craft one of those uh um uh May the force be with you! Ha! Not bad, but my sermons are much better. You should really prepare for your next ceremony. I think the last prior kept some books with some wonderful words in the church library. You'll probably find some weird stuff in there too. He considered himself a scientist. You could throw all that stuff out. So I got blueprint, study table, gathering, old books, perk, curious mind. I'll spread the word about your next ceremony. Maybe next week someone will show up. By the way, as prior, it's now your duty to perform a weekly ceremony on that. So that symbol is basically in the upper left corner. There's a compass type item that's spinning around the uh, uh, the, the the clock, the, the daytime wheel. Um, when it lands on certain things for each week or whatever. Yeah, you, it's gone now. But when it lands on each one, it's basically a different thing. So anyways, uh, <laughs> it, it, different things happen. For example, the bishop only shows up at certain times. Uh, certain merchants show up at certain times, whatever. That's it. All right, so that guy's going to leave. Oh my god, look at all these little prayer balls that I dropped. Boy, I'm so happy I got all these prayer balls. Let me see, let's destroy this wooden marker. Make her from my prayer ball. Oh, look at this, I got little balls of faith. Man, little balls of faith. Now, now I can enter. I, just, I couldn't do it because I didn't talk to the guy. Oh, look at this, there's more stuff for me to repair. <laughs> let's see. Oh, good, this one just requires this good old holding the Y. Boy, I could hold the Y. Oh, that shit is broken, okay. <laughs> Whatever, give me the wood. I'll take it. Yeah, there we go. Oh god, old books, oh no. Burn them. Burn them. Oh, oh Jesus. Let's see. What do I get? Uh, complex iron parts. Oh, I got some complex iron parts or something that I need, but I need a lot more than just those two. Or one, actually. Uh, I have fetch. I have uh, some newts. Uh, repair kits. Uh, some prayer. God, what don't you know? Let's drop the sticks. No, no, let's drop these stupid mushrooms. I'm not doing anything with them. There we go. Got some rune books. I'm not gonna break anything else because anything else is gonna cost more. So let's see. Clear outs. I need a bunch of stuff to clear it out. So, I mean, look, there's a lot of stuff. Wait, does this lead over? I bet this leads over to the um, the dungeon where I do my work, the morgue. 100%. Hey, look, another blueprint thing to build more stuff. <laughs> there's so much stuff, man. This is like fucking Eve. <laughs> like, there's just so many different things that you could do and you could spend time, like, you know, uh, curating and building and progressing and putting points into and time and effort and money and all this stuff. Like, you could do all these, you know, there's a body now, man. Fuck you, there's a body, I don't care. Okay, fine, fine, we'll do it. If you guys are here this long, you might as well do it. What are you, a cleric now? It seems so. Oh, by the way, that guy talks. <laughs> That's your friend, his name's like Gary or something. Uh, I don't remember anything after my dead. Maybe there's something there. Or maybe I just forgot everything. Amnesia can be a useful skill. You know what I mean, my friend? You know what I mean? Burn a sea. So we take the body just like so. We carry it over to the autopsy table, and then we put it down. Click on that button. We choose what we want to extract from the body. The body's got a quality of 94%. Great, we're gonna go ahead and take this, extract some flesh. Let's go ahead and do the work. Do, 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 do. 
Bam. And then let's see. I'm going to do nothing else to it. I'm not going to do anything else to it because I don't have the energy to do that. Uh, let's see. Should I just drop the faith on the ground? <laughs> just drop the faith. Whatever. Uh, let's see. I want to take that. I wanted to. I want to just drop the sticks. Drop the sticks. Yeah. Oh, I destroyed it. Whatever. It's fine. I got some. Oh, I got to take the body with me. Sorry, I forgot. I can take. A, I can make other things, but I don't have the. I don't have anything to do with all those other items that I could take out of the body. Yeah, I've unlocked the ability to do it, and I could learn it. I get XP from extra extracting those things from the body, but I don't have the energy to do it right now. And I just wanted the meat, so I'm gonna do it. The boop like this. We go over here, and we go to grave site, and we're gonna put it right over here, and then we're gonna go pick up the body. 92% quality body part right there. We gotta do the work to dig this thing up. Do I have the energy to do it? Oh gosh, okay, we'll put this guy in there. We'll just gotta cover it now, which should be a lot easier. There we go, gravestone. Bam, put this thing on. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. See this, see, this is what I'm talking about. <sighs> quality of four, man, no one's gonna come to my graveyard. <sighs> so that's Graveyard Keeper in a nutshell. Uh, in, in a 45 minute nutshell uh like i said it's just not I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna get out of this game and i'm probably never gonna play it again and if i do i'm gonna be supremely i must be supremely bored to do that <laughs> because i would much rather just pick up the switch and just fire up stardew valley now for you it might be it might be different because this is something you're into which is great if I, if I, if maybe this was like higher up on my list of things that I like, you know, working with dead bodies and whatnot, then uh, perhaps I would be much more into the game. More so than Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is very flowery and cute and just fucking like everyone's happy and you got to make everybody happy and you can't make anybody mad. It's like being on Twitter. It's just like, it's ridiculous. So yeah, I get it. <laughs> it goes both ways. What was I doing? Let's go finish this stupid grave. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Oh man, I can't just leave my grave. I can't like not play this game ever again and leave that grade not finish. What the hell am I thinking? Game's available right now on Steam for $19.99. It is a beautiful game. Controls are great. Lots of stuff to do. It's really just a matter of whether or not you feel like you can do it. Did I leave something in here? Nope, good. All right. Well, oh hey, I got mail. Hey, had a royal treasure for having to crash the church and open the graveyard. Yay. Also, we were pleased to inform you that by using these lands, you're such a little fuck <laughs> taxes. <laughs>